Hey guys, this is Paula with Flumina Pachis and I want to give you a prophetic update. There's a lot of things that are going on right now and I'm so sorry I haven't been able to post all of that. There's even things coming to pass that I just I haven't been able to uh, just make videos, do video editing, all of that. It takes a lot of time, but I want to give you an update and I'm just going to record and, you know, just go for it. So hopefully I can keep it short. Uh, I want to talk about that spy balloon. Um, the Lord is speaking to me about uh, February uh, being a month of uh, initiation of shakings that are coming a sequence of events of, uh, yeah, a sequence of planned events coming uh, to America. Uh, the shaking begins. It's already beginning. Uh, we're seeing it, the economic shakedown. We haven't seen the public hasn't really seen um our lives have not been affected you know and until uh we start seeing some stuff in the headlines it's gonna be a little bit late so that's why prophets come out here and warn you about what's about to what's about to go down so and what's going down is the market and all of that so we're right on time i released a wealth transfer um message earlier i believe in january and i talked about like the first quarter being the the initiation the angelic activity in the last few days in the last week has been crazy and uh this week the lord also spoke to me about america uh sorry i'm all over the place i'm just trying to get everything out so america the lord spoke to me about you a few weeks ago and during the fast and out of nowhere this is so this is how i know it's from god out of absolutely nowhere i'm in my car no music nothing and i just start singing the national anthem and i start singing the part um only the part where it says and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that the flag was still there and at first I, I didn't realize I was even singing it just came upon me and it happened a few times and the third time it happened I was like oh what's going on you know why why are the songs stuck in my head my goodness and only that part of the anthem so um I sat on that I prayed about it I knew something was up I knew it was prophetic and then this the the spy balloon begins to happen and i've been speaking a lot about god's judgment and this is um and then just this morning just this morning the lord spoke to me again through psalm 24 i have a word about psalm 24 that's a word to declare over this year about the king of glory and and the lord is asking us to pray and decree that word uh, in our community, for our states, for our uh, circles, uh, to declare the King of Glory, to let the gates, let Him enter the gates. But but this morning when God woke me up, He said Psalm 24, and then He said 10, the number 10, Earths. And when the Lord speaks by word of knowledge, um, it just becomes a really uh, powerful, anointed word because not only do you uh, experience the, the sight, I have the gift of sight, I'm a seer, but you also hear. And so I, you know, it just becomes a really, uh, a word of, uh, that carries weight, prophetic weight. Um, you know, so the number 10 represents rules, order. You know, you got the 10 commandments, you've got the, um, the 10 commandments, the law. There's a lot of 10s in the Bible that it, and it all uh, represents perfect order uh, if you want to find a resource for prophetic numbers and understanding them from a biblical perspective you need to check out Troy Brewer I'll link him down in the video he is a wealth of wisdom when it comes to understanding biblical numbers and you know some people get a little uh, spooked by that because they're like well isn't that just numerology well you know um, numbers give glory to God and God does things like that because he wants to show off because he's God and he like it's it's a it's a it's wonder you know it's when it's like wow you know you never never notice these like trends in the Bible 
And, um, and so no, it's not numerology. What happens is that the enemy takes truth and he perverts it. And so then you've got like numerology, you know, type websites and stuff like that. So everything I look for is biblical. It's in the Bible. I just want to, you know, share that. And then the word earths. If you look at that Bible verse, I'll post it here. Um, basically, God is saying right now, like today, he is saying as all of this is going down, uh, as we start to see February being a month of just uh, a shakedown, of shifting and as we see the recession start to hit the layoffs um the lord is saying i am the creator and he's saying that the earth belongs to god and a lot of people don't understand the difference between between earth and the world and in that bible verse he's saying that he is the land owner he is the owner of the earth if you can think of it like a house you know, you you buy a house, you you have the landowner, and then maybe you want to rent the house, and you've got the people who live inside the house, but it but the ownership belongs to the landowner, right? Um, the people are the tenants inside of it, and so the world, the difference between the earth and the world, is huge. The earth belongs to God. Period. The world is a part of the earth if that makes sense and who's in the world you know the world is dominated by man you know you've got the enemy in the world um and the lord is saying that don't forget don't forget that i am about to shift everything that i am about to to bring out my order my order says the lord and God has his own economy. God has his own way of doing things. And it all ultimately belongs to him. And he gets to evict whoever he wants because it's God's. And we forget about that because we get accustomed and complacent to the tenants, you know, to the way things are in the world. And we need to remember this, you know, we, we, um, we know God can do anything. But really, this year, God can do anything. That's what God is saying. And he wants us to focus on that biblical verse right there and decree that. Decree that so that the king of glory can enter in. And then it says, you know, today we, in the gospel reading, we, 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 hear, the, the, we hear the message that says, You are the light of the world, a city on a hill that cannot be hidden. Um, so it's time to shine your light. It's time to shine your light and be a partner, be in partnership with God, be in partnership with God to bring about the revival and the glory that he wants to bring. So basically the way things go down this year is we see calamity, we see crisis after crisis. We think we just got done and, and then you get the revival because people are like, you know, walking in darkness and, uh, and so that's when revival and the glory come. And even though, you know, this is where this is where God's kingdom people shine. Um, God's kingdom people start building up the kingdom. They bring down the glory. They bring down the signs, the wonders. They invite people who are open because unfortunately, you know, until you realize that you're just a tenant in this world, um, and when you start losing your job, you know, God's really actually your employer. And when you start, you know, being evicted and, and you get laid off, whatever, you know, the things that are about to go down, people become a little bit more humble. You know, they realize that they are not God and they've been sitting on God's throne and instead of allowing him to do his thing. And so it's in the position, again, I release the word humility, that if you do not humble yourself. God will humble you. You know, life will humble you. Often it comes through humiliations, whatever it may be in your life. But God, God, God is sovereign. God is good. And for God's people, this is all good news because um, we get to get, we get to be useful, you know, and being useful in the kingdom for kingdom work 
that man, that's a privilege. That's a privilege to be able to bring someone to Christ. It's a privilege to disciple somebody. It's a privilege to sponsor somebody. And we feel uh, useful even though our life has been trash. You know, we all we have, we don't have very much to give God. And yet he uses our trash to bring people back to him, you know? So, you know, this is a time to be a light. It's a time to be a light and to, um, and to to just um, partner with God, just partner with God and, you know, hang tight. Um, one more thing I saw, there's something going on with the airline industry. I, I don't have a full picture yet, but, but I will say that I see a missile. I see threat, I, yeah, like threats. I see threats going on. Um, I see threats by other nations threatening um the united states the airlines the the industry um with bombs i don't know i don't know that's what i'm seeing i'm seeing a uh, threatening i'm seeing a high level of threatening and people being scared so that's um i don't know exactly what that is all about but i but i know it's more there's more coming and so america just to wrap it up um, with the national anthem word, we saw the bomb bursting today in the air. Um, how does that song go? The bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that the flag was still there. So America, God's not done with you. God's not done with you. We need to go through this. Whatever this is um, that's about to go down, we need to go through it because God wants to do something with you and he is not done with you. That is the message that I'm receiving. And with that, I'm going to sign off and I hope everybody has a blessed, blessed week. I'll be back in a, a hopefully I'm going to try to do weekly videos now to give you a prophetic update and just let you know what, what God is saying. Amen. God bless.